Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna try this again. I've already filmed it once. I've already filmed it once, but as you can tell from the title, it's going to be a Abbott Lion haul. Well, not really a haul because I've not purchased it. So basically we're going back to my, what I got for my birthday haul. And I got a really beautiful necklace from my sister with my name on and it wouldn't sit right on the neck. Every time I put it on my neck or like kind of went like that, it just flipped over and it had the birthstone on it and you just couldn't see it and you couldn't, like the name was back to front as well. So there was no way I could keep that on the neck. I tried different things to get it to sit right. I borrowed one of my mum's extenders because she's got extenders for necklaces. So I borrowed one of those just to see if I could get it to sit right on my neck. Still, still wouldn't, still kept flipping over definitely think there's a fault in that particular style of necklace which I will show you what the necklace looked like but I'll also put the what I got for my birthday haul if you've not seen it. I think the majority of people who watch me regular would have seen it by now but if you're new and you've just come to watch this haul um, you might want to go and check it out. Just it might be good for you to know how basically how it is on the neck um, or how it was on my neck. Yeah, um, basically I put it on the neck. It was a short necklace anyway. It was about the length of this um, necklace, about 16 inch, but it did have a little extender for you to extend it a little bit more. It, re it was really, really difficult to get on, I will tell you that. So anyway, once I'd got it on, I'd tried it on various different fastenings that it had on the extender. Still nothing, it still kept doing the same thing. My mum's analysis of it was, every time you breathe, um, it flips over. And I said, well, I can't not breathe, mum. So anyway, um, that was that. Then I put this necklace on, like, underneath it, and I thought, well, maybe if it goes on, like, over the top of this, this one, because it's slightly heavier, this one will kind of, like, be something for it to lie, lie flat on. I didn't want to do that but I just thought I would layer them together like I've layered this Pandora one with well they're both Pandora ones that's a Pandora pendant and then this is like my Pandora Mickey Mouse one so I've got these laid at the moment I really wanted a name necklace and I'm gonna get one I'm just not gonna get one from Abbott Lion all the fastenings on the necklaces are the same and I don't want to take that risk again so obviously it does take quite a while for them to make your necklace um, I think the first time we ordered it was in the new year I ordered one and my sister ordered one for my niece and we managed to get them two for one um, which was a really really great deal because the £90 I think if you don't get that deal £90 each so it's great that we got that um, exclusive offer two for one and we were both really pleased with that she bought mine and she also paid for my niece's as well um which i'll go into in a little bit so um yeah they do amazing offers i'm not really gonna sit here and, and bitch about abbott lion but i will just tell you a bit about their customer services when i reached out to them they pride themselves on being kind of the best of the best in the business and if there's and if there's anything wrong with the jewelry um, all you need to do is reach out to them. I don't know what was happening with the customer services on the day that I reached out but I didn't get the most pleasant experience. I mean it wasn't bad, I've had definitely had worse customer service experience than that. So I've definitely had worse customer service experience than that. I was just basically telling them that there's a fault with a necklace and I want to exchange it for another piece of jewellery. They said, well, what fault is it? Can you send us some pictures? So I sent them a picture. In the picture, like when I sent the picture, it's lying flat, but obviously I sent them a video clip as well and I moved my neck and it was just moving all, like it was just flipping over. Um, and they said to me that there's not a fault in the necklace. And I'm like, well, if there's not a fault in the necklace, is that just what it's supposed to do then every time you move? Is it just supposed to turn itself upside down so you can't see the writing and the writing's back to front? To me, that's a fault. The first time I heard about Abbott Lion, was when Phoebe from Palettes Pouts Perfume and Panning, she'd got quite a few pieces of jewellery 
I think for her birthday and um, the pieces that she got looked amazing. She didn't get the piece of jewellery that I got. She didn't, get the, she didn't get the same necklace that I got so maybe obviously there is a difference in style and maybe it was that particular necklace if I would have chosen something else I would have been more happy with um, but I really wanted that one. It was part of the Stacey Solomon line. And um, it just didn't work out for me anyway. So I just said to them, look, you know, it's I'm not happy with it. It was a birthday gift and I'd like to return it. And even though I said return it, um, like exchange it, they said, I'm sorry, you can't have a refund. And I said, well, I've not asked for a refund. I want an exchange. And they said, OK, that's fine. So they said, OK, that's fine. As a goodwill gesture. And it really, really gets to me when companies say as a goodwill gesture because I mean at the end of the day you, you paid money for a necklace to come to you and to sit on your neck in one kind of spot and it's just not doing that um so of course it's in my mind of course it's got a fault but they disagreed with it anyway I wasn't gonna go back and forth and say no you're wrong it's definitely a fault I just said look you know I want to exchange and they said, well, look on the website, let us know what you want. I said, that's fine, can you send me out a prepaid envelope or a prepaid label and I'll get it back to you as soon as possible. And they said, well, all you need to do is go on the Royal Mail website and print it off. And I said, look, I don't have a printer. So at this point, I was getting really, really stressed. And they said, all you need to do is go into the post office and they'll print it off. So I went to the post office and they said, no. Um, they said, we don't print things off here have you got a QR code and it just so happens I was on the Royal Mail website and I got a QR code um, from them so basically I came home checked that the address was right because I didn't have I didn't have the package like it's come in a package like this I threw it out because I thought the necklace would have been fine so I had to get a padded envelope and I just checked the address was right with them before I actually took the QR code later on that afternoon into the post office. They sorted all that out for me. So it was really, really simple to send back. Um, but it was just stressful talking to customer service, not knowing whether they would exchange this for me. But in the end, I got an exchange and I looked on the website. So the necklaces on the website, which is what I wanted, I wanted a named necklace. They all had the same fastener. I just thought to myself, I can't do this again. I can't go through this again. It takes three to four weeks to actually get the necklace or whatever personalised jewellery you get. So it's quite a long time. It's quite a long process. And then if that does the same thing, I'm going to have to reach out to the company again. So I looked at the bracelets. I didn't particularly want a bracelet because I wear my Pandora ones all the time. I've got one on now. Um, I didn't really want a bracelet I wanted a necklace and I'm still going to buy a necklace I've seen one on Amazon it's by a company called Joelle personalized jewelry I think something like that I know it's definitely Joelle and they do the most amazing fonts on the necklaces and I saw one today and you can get it in stainless steel stainless steel as far as I'm aware it doesn't it doesn't kind of like stain you it's like this bracelet that I've got now it's not silver it's I'm sure it's some kind of metal that doesn't actually, it's waterproof and it doesn't, like if I went into the bath with it, which, or the shower, which I'm not going to do, um, it wouldn't actually mark my arm. And silver does do that, like if you go into the bath or the shower with silver jewellery on, I never go in with my necklaces or my Pandora jewellery just because it marks and it like kind of tarnishes the jewellery. This, for the stainless steel necklace that I'm interested in, it's only £16.99. And if you want silver, it's £10 extra, £26.99. So that is a steal, really, when you think about it. Because the Abbott Lion ones are £90. And I know that you can get offers two for one or buy one, get one half price. But it's still very, very expensive. Without further ado, now I've spoke about the trauma I had in getting an exchange, I'm going to show you what I got. So it comes in a really nice package like that and it says it's time to sparkle. The packaging that Abbott Lion send out and don't charge you for it is really, really beautiful. So that's the box there. So it's got a little drawer here and then it's got another box within a box um, and then obviously the little drawer there. I guess this is the card that tells you how to look after it 
so it says thank you we wanted to say thank you for your recent name jewelry purchase we promised it would be worth the wait we hope you absolutely love it share your style on instagram for a chance to get featured we'd love to see you style it the abbott lion team it says affordable luxury the warranty is all of our jewelry comes with a two-year warranty got a question see our website or get in touch with our super friendly customer service team for any questions i didn't i mean i'm not saying they weren't super friendly all i'm saying is the kind of I just didn't like it when they said as a goodwill gesture we'll exchange it because I mean at the end of the day I wasn't happy with it. It was a it was it was a birthday a gift and I wouldn't have been able to use that necklace if it hadn't been exchanged. So I do genuinely feel like there was a fault on the necklace but they don't agree. Um and then it tells you how to care for it. Our jewellery is expertly plated for long lasting durability and is water, sweat and heat resistant. To keep your purchase looking brand new for longer, we advise taking it off to shower and to be sure to keep it somewhere safe when you're not wearing it. So that's that comes with that that's just to protect it i think and then comes in it has a little black cloth as well so they really do think of everything and then that's the box it comes in let me get that out so yeah i decided to go for a bracelet this time my reasoning is is if it flips over i can just turn it up turn it back over and yeah i just thought at least i won't have to be constantly worried if it was the right way up it's the same style so it's from the stacy solomon range like the necklace was that i got um, and it's it's exactly the same style but just in a bracelet format now this is 79 pound i didn't get reimbursed for the rest of the money but the way i see it that that works out fine because obviously that's fine because my sister didn't pay the full 90 pounds anyway for the necklace i got we got it on like two for one so what that worked out 45 pound and i've got like a 79 pound bracelet back um so yeah i really did need to do the exchange i would never have been able to put that um necklace on so it just says andrea on it i'm trying to do it I don't know if you're going to see it. If you can't see it, I'll um, leave a picture. And then it's got this emerald birthstone here, which isn't my birthstone, it's my mum's. I just thought it might be kind of cute to have my name on my mum's birthstone. So both of us are on the bracelet. Then on the back, um, I got the one with the toggle there. Um, so it should be easy to put on. I'm going to put it on now and I'll show you what it looks like. don't know if you're going to see it. So... It just looks like that. Obviously, you can't see Andrea all the way across. That's the only downside. Um, but at least it doesn't flip over. Like, when I move my arm, looks like that. And then the toggle's there. Um, I've taken my Pandora bracelet off, but I think I'm going to wear this Pandora bracelet with it. Um, just to kind of layer it. Let's see what it looks like together. Right, so... Yeah, because my Pandora bracelet goes down there and then you can see the Abbott Lion bracelet here. Um, so, in summary guys, I don't think I would order from Abbott Lion again. I've just had probably a bad experience in ordering from them. Not everyone's jewellery is like that because I know that Phoebe's really happy with hers and Tracy has got some jewellery from Abbott Lion as well from Palettes Pouts Perfume and Panning. So I guess it depends what necklace you get. But like my experience with the Stacey Solomon necklace, the ones that look like that, then I don't like that range because it just doesn't sit right on the neck. I feel like the necklace was too short. In fact, you know, it might have been a little bit shorter than the 16 inch necklace that I'm wearing now. But like I said, I will be buying one from Amazon because I really do like the personalised necklaces. It takes me back to my um, obsession with Carrie from Sex in the City when she had that gold one. Um, so yeah, I, I still feel like I'll be ordering one, not for a while. Not for quite a few months, I don't think, but yeah, I do, I do still want one. They're on my radar. I'm happy. I'm happy that the bracelet's sitting as it should. I mean, it's not move. It's not moving. It's just sitting there. I just wish, 
you could see Andrea and he's, he, at the moment he's saying, I mean I could put it so it's Drea. So apparently I've got a new name guys now, Drea. I used to get called that all the time when I was at high school. Fun fact there. So I'm going to leave this video here, it's just a short and sweet one about Abbott Lyon. Like I said, I can't speak for the other pieces of jewellery that they do, but the necklaces all seem to come on that extender chain. And the necklaces were so hard to get on as well. They were so fiddly. And I've never experienced that before. So, yeah, I don't feel like I'll be ordering from Abbott Lion again. Let me know, obviously, what you think of the brand. Have you had any trouble with them? Um, in the end, the customer services were pretty good. You know, it wasn't the best customer service. It wasn't the worst. But I just, I didn't, you know, I didn't really want to be spending my days going back and forth, back and forth. It took me about a week to get it resolved. And in the end, you know, they said, yeah, just return it. So I'm glad that they let me return it anyway. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the bracelet. I just wish I could see my name. At least it fits, hey? Um, and no one's going to look on my arm anyway and say, oh, you've got a name bracelet. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, we'll leave it here now, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you in my next video. Please like, it really does help my small channel grow. And I massively appreciate it. I'll be leaving a playlist in the video which is relevant to this one. I hope you can go and watch it. It would mean a lot to me. If you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to become part of our little fam. And I'll see you again in the next one, guys. Bye.